Hi, thanks for tuning in. I am Ambarish, a Mumbai-based Microsoft Certified Professional, and this video on MS Teams is to demonstrate the difference between a conversation and an announcement. Remember, these features are only uh, usable when you are a part of some uh, channel and not when you are in, a, in an individual chat or a group chat. So, as you can see, I'm a part of this channel here that says Business Intelligence Awareness Training, which is a part of a team. And I can simply type a normal message here first. So I can simply say online training, hit enter, and I'm done. And this is how you type your normal messages. Now, let's see the difference between a conversation and an announcement. So I click on this A and the paintbrush icon, the format icon, and the message box expands. It's got these formatting options here, like you would have in a Word document or uh, in the Outlook interface when you compose an email and some of the other applications. Now, I can have a subject first. Remember, this is a conversation, as you can see from the drop down here. Of course, I can select something else, but we'll see that later. So I have this add a subject, so let's say online training could be my subject and the actual message is Power BI training planned over the weekend. And notice here that I can send this in multiple channels. That way, if you are a part of multiple channels in a team or across various teams, you don't really have to copy paste this. Superb, right? All right, and that's it. Uh, I can hit enter and uh, I'm done. So I can click on the send icon or hit enter. This is a conversation which has a subject and then the actual message. Now let's see what is a what is an announcement then. So I again click on the A and the paintbrush icon, the format icon, the message box or the compose box expands. This time I can access the drop down and select announcement. Okay. Now notice here that it lets me type a major uh, subject. It says headline, right? So it could be data analysis and uh, dashboards. All right. And then I can have a secondary subject, which could be online training and then the actual message. Now, before I hit enter, let's notice here that it's also got these formatting uh, options. It's also got the post in multiple uh, channels uh, option. So same like the way we had in conversation. However, there are two uh, major differences. First is the ability to have a major subject which will grab the, grab the eyeballs of your uh, channel members. And apart from that, there are two icons here on the right side. So if you wish to change the color scheme, you may want to do that. Let me just not change it right now. I'm happy with this color, this uh, periwinkle blue. Now the other icon is background image. Let me click on that. So I click on background image. I can upload an image because this is a Power BI training. Let's have the Power BI icon as well. It's there on my desktop. I can click on it. I can say done. And there you go. It's got uh, a nice little main subject there. And of course, I can finally hit send. Now, when it's been sent out, you will notice that there is this uh, loudspeaker icon here, which is uh, going to appear for the announcement only and not for a conversation. So announcement, because of the main um, uh, subject, the, the level one subject, and the background image, and the ability to uh, have a color change, and the announcement will ensure that this will not be missed out at all by your channel members. So guys, that's it. This was the difference between uh, a conversation and a channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.